a humbled crime resource is facing an uncertain future. The Australian casino company founded by billionaire James Packer, has just been told that it's not fit to hold a licence for its new Sydney casino. Now that's a blow to Packer, who had great hopes for the $1.7 billion property. But it's not his only problem. This licensing issue could potentially be fixed by a change of ownership or management to address the grave concerns over corporate governance raised in the report. But the report also said that Crown needs to severe ties with junkets, the organisations who ran and financed visits by wealthy Chinese gamblers. Without those wealthy patrons, it's not only the Sydney casino, but also properties in Melbourne and elsewhere that are going to come up against problems. The group probably needs to rethink its business model. There are, of course, other things they could do. They could run more modest casinos targeting local gamblers. Uh, they could focus on retail, hotels, uh, restaurants even. But without those wealthy Chinese VIPs, the jackpot for investors looks a lot smaller.